Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to create a user inputted text to speech. This is kind of fun. I'm just playing around with this and seeing what's possible with it. Basically, you end up with something like this. I did have some issues with not being able to see the text. So you just type in whatever you want them to say. Today is going to be a great day. I just know it. I feel it in my <laughs> now I'm gonna have to put my headset near the microphone so you can hear this all this and then I'm just gonna hit play today is going to be a great day I just know it I feel it in my bones <laughs> so anyway I'll show you kind of some of the bugs I hit and we'll get started with this Hey, okay, we're back. So we're just going to go into the first person here and we're just going to go create no starter content. This does require one restart and we'll do that as soon as we get this thing up and running. So we need to come into edit and we need to go into plugins and then we need to enable text to speech. So this voice, you know, it's not like an AI. I don't know if it's AI generated. It's It definitely sounds like a computer generated voice so no one's gonna think it's an actual person so we're gonna go ahead and restart now I'm sure this will might improve in the future depending on how much of a demand there is for this but I would imagine something like this could be really handy within the game engine AI generated voices and stuff like that okay so to get started with this we're just gonna go ahead and make a user widget and this is gonna be our interface to be honest with you this was being a little buggy on me I'm just going to call this my widget. So let's double click into this. There's actually two parts to this. One is kind of getting the input in and then the other is hooking up the text to speech. So for this, we're just going to go ahead and get a canvas panel. I don't know why the canvas panel is getting such a bad rap. Lately, people are saying don't use it anymore, but <laughs> I use it all the time. Okay. And then we're just going to put some text on here. This is just for fun. So we'll call this, I'm going to call this your personal motivational coach. <laughs> and then we're going to get a text box here. This one, I've been having issues with this. I realize this is probably an old function. It might be deprecated in some respects. There's no way to adjust the text over here and honestly you can't even see it so we're gonna have to do something to fix that so but this supposedly lets us enter multiple lines of text and just so this thing is short to fire I was having issues with you know not it not firing even though I'm supposed to be able to let it fire so I'm just gonna create a button here just so that I know I have a surefire way to make it work so and this I'll just put some text on this so this is just the interface really and we can just size that to fit the right is that the one we size to fit oh uh, size to content which I realize overrides everything so okay so then and on our text block we'll just call this convert okay and then that's that so now we've got our interface we just need to go into let me compile and save that real fast I'll go ahead and dock this up here and let's make sure we have it on our screen so I'll just jump into the blueprints real fast and we just need to add it to the viewport oops I didn't mean to do that okay so we're going to create widget and it's called my widget I believe and we just add it to the viewport and this should complete our interface okay and we shouldn't have to enable mouse or anything like that okay I hope not so anyway we'll go back into our widget now and this is where everything sort of happens so the main star of the show is we're gonna do we're gonna drive this off of an on click so we'll click on button and we'll just go to on clicked and like I said, we should be able to do it just on enter, hitting enter. But I was having issues with that, so I just want it to work. So for this, what we'll do is we got to search for something called 
text to speech. I guess I can't get it off of there, so text to speech. Right here, engine subsystems. And then there's three, basically three nodes we gotta pull off of here. So, so the first one is add a channel. So we gotta add default channel, this one right here. And it doesn't have one, so we make one. We just promote to variable, and we can just call this channel one. It doesn't really matter the name of it. And this, will, like I said, that'll be driven off of our button. This one I can drag down a little bit. All three of these need to plug in now. Then the next one, this is actually not hard to do at all. The next one is the, the activate channel. So I guess we can pull off of here and go activate. Activate channel here. And then this goes in here. And that goes in there. And then the last one is speak. So it's funny you have to do all three of these. So, and I guess it's, I forget what it's called. It's, yeah, it's just called speak. Speak on channel. And then we're just going to drag that into there and this into here. And then we just need our string. So what we can do here is off of here we can get this and off of here we should be able to get the text. I think it's get text, right? Get text right here. And this seems to be a surefire way to get the text that the users entered. So that's compile and save that. Now the only issue that we're having now, it should work, it's just that we can't see the text that we put in and that's kind of frustrating. So how can we do this? Well, we can go to event preconstruct and there should be a way to, if I come here and I drag off of this, is to set text style this one right here and I just found these just by searching so there's such a vast library of functions in here a lot of times if you just think of what it is that you need you can literally just start searching for it and it's probably in there somewhere it might not be under the name that you're thinking of so in text style we can drag up here and see what we can find so can we find set font set textile set members let's see I'm trying to remember make, make text stock well oh, that's what it was so yeah we had to do make text block style and this is what gave me options so on the all these you just pull out let's see for this one is font right so do we go set font or just font. Oh yeah, so it's make everything. So it's make font info. And then all these are make. So it's it's gonna be make slate color. So we just make them. So yeah, so that was my mistake for not remembering that. So you pull up here and go make text block style. And then it gives you options to adjust all these and then you pull off make font, make slate color. So we'll just leave it this because that's such a easy to see color. And then here, we'll just need to pick a font. We'll just do the Roboto. And that, that makes it so we can at least see it. It doesn't look the best, but... And then you can come back in here and play with it. So as far as I know, we should be ready to go. So we come in here, we hit play. And if I come in here, I can type... I hope you are having a great day. This is the best day to <laughs> speech to text and so you can imagine you can just keep putting whatever so I have to take my headset off and uh, put this over the microphone <laughs> so here we go convert I hope you are having a great day this is the best day to learn speech to text in the real engine <laughs> So anyway, that's it. I hope you found this helpful. Take care and please subscribe.